What is up, peeps? This is your boy iGuru, back with a new video. 9.17 has just dropped a few hours ago, and I'm going to bring you the express version of the Swedish line straight to you. The first thing I'm going to do is jump straight to tier 6. I'm going to use all my free XP to get me there. And if you're an active player like me, you know what I'm talking about. You need to get to tier 6 before you can make use of your uh, clans, strongholds, performance bonuses to help you grind the XP and the credits and basically accelerate into the tier 7. So right now I'm just going to speed up this process um, times 8 speed. I'm just going to research all the necessary modules to get me to the next level and keep moving forward and eventually reach tier 6 you will see that it takes me exactly uh, 58,355 XP to get me into the tier 6 tanks and if I want my tier 6 fully researched it's gonna take me a whopping 84,725 free XP to get me a fully researched tier 6 medium tank so here's my first game in the tier 6 medium tank. Uh, today's video is going to be uh, me researching every tank and playing my first game in it. So this is the raw footage of my first game and I'm going to talk through it about how I feel about this tank. Right now I'm playing on the test server which means I'm facing 355 ping for all my games so you've got to take that into account when I am making uh, my little re mini review here it will the tanks will f will feel kind of sluggish all right let me forward this a little bit and uh, let me get to my hull down position here and i will talk a little bit about the tank now this tank has 15 degrees gun depression so make use of the ridges this is where it works best um, the crew that i have on here is on my strv premium tank crew which means this crew is on its third skill. First skill of course for the um, commander is the sixth sense and the second skill for everyone is the uh, BIA working on the third skill. So this would be the regular kind of crew that you would normally have anyway because you, you want your crew to be around the base level of at least three skills right? Two, two skills working on the third. As you can see the gun is pretty good it does about uh, 150 damage and 150 penetration it has a rate of fire of uh, 12 point uh, 12 rounds per minute it has a reload time of about five seconds and I think with uh, with the, the skills that I have I think I'm running just under five seconds so it is pretty good the aim time is like uh, 1.3 seconds and the gun dispersion is about 0 0.32 which isn't too shabby for a tier 6 uh, medium tank. It's basically like the premium STRV except this one is the single shot. Let's not talk about armor, it's got no armor mobility it's got uh, not very much mobility it is not a mobile tank it is not a very fast tank this is definitely a heavy heavy tank support it doesn't you can't follow a t37 or a cromwell around the map you really want to go on flank and stay there and fight till you die or push forward with the heavies it is not something you really want to um, chase the Cromwells with, to be honest. Alright, this game is pretty much done now. I'm going to fast forward this until the end and uh, show you the results. Not a bad game. I finished second, uh, doing 1472 damage. And uh, next up, we're going to research for another 52,600 XP we can get the tier 7 Leo. Let's jump straight into my first game in this tank. 
I'm fast forwarding is straight to the game and this tank in my first impression is it does feel a little bit like my TS7 T20 uh, my apologies if you can hear the rain in the background I'm recording this in the rain at the moment uh, I don't care to be honest I hope you don't care either so let me talk a little bit about this tank like I said it does feel a little bit like the T20 it has very slow reload time it has very slow aim time although it does uh, quite good damage it does about uh, 290 average damage and the penetration I think is about like uh, 210 with the AP uh, what sucks uh, about this tank is uh, let me mention that I do have my same crew as with the tier 6 tank which came from my uh, premium STRV which means it, uh, it has BI I have a three BIA crew unfortunately this t this tank takes four crew which means I had to retrain a new crew which I think should be a loader so the loader has zero skills and that kind of sucks because my three crew have the BIA skill which would help with the aiming time and reloading time and stuff but unfortunately my new crew which is my fourth crew has jack shit skills so this tank what is bad about it is the rate of fire 5.56 rounds per minute it reloads at nearly 11 seconds per round that's like forever man however it does have 10 degrees gun depression and again what sucks about this tank the aiming time 2.88 seconds that's a long time to aim and the dispersion 0 0.4 that's why I mentioned that the T20 the T20 is like kind of feels like the same same kind of tank slow aim huge bloom takes forever to load I mean even the, the T20 loads quicker right under 8 seconds 7 point something I guess but what I do like about this tank was you saw I bounced two shots off that tank just now I think it's the lower tier tank it was the new um, tank destroyer from the Swedish line as well I bounced two shells from it so I was kind of impressed by that and this was the tank that was that shot me earlier tried to brawl with me so it's going to take me 10 seconds to this guy didn't notice me but if he did notice me it would have been a problem right so I'm uh, kind of fortunate on there and the game is just about over so I'm going to forward this and go straight to the results actually I'm kind of surprised I got an ace tanker in my first try I suppose 2.9k damage gets you ace tanker for uh, this tank I'm pretty sure I only had 408 assisted damage which means 408 supporting plus 2900 damage gets you an ace tanker right next tank the tier 8 in meal 1 takes you 179,800 XP later for a fully loaded Emil 1. Alright, let's fast forward this and uh, get straight into a game if I can, and I will talk a little bit more about this tank. First of all, the uh, HD modeling is very good with this tank. The hull looks a little bit like a chieftain hull, and the gun obviously looks like either a 5100 or a 5120 kind of French looking bourgeoisie tank doesn't it I'm having problems with the sound because I'm not getting the uh, uh, crew sounds the Swedish crew sounds there's a probably a bug with the um, test server but the, the tank looks great to be honest with you the hull really does look like a chieftain t95 kind of hull right and the gun a french 5120 or a 5100 what's special about this tank 
It does about 210 damage per shell. It is an auto loader, of course. It carries four shells. And the reason you see me doing this is because this tank has 12 degrees gun depression. You certainly cannot do this in a 5100 or a 5120. None of the French tanks can do this. This tank can really hull down because the gun is sitting right on top of the turret. Look at that. I'm showing almost nothing. And if you notice, uh, the other uh, the other imperial ones that I am shooting at, they are hull down too. Look at this uh, STRV sitting right on top. He is like as flat as a pancake. He can sit out in the open and uh, be a very small target for the enemy indeed. Now the standard shell penetration, I'm assuming, is about um, 200, 210 for the armor piercing AP penetration. Once again, 12 degrees gun depression. It takes about uh, 36 seconds to reload the gun. Much like a 1390 or a Batchat AP. If you're if you're used to driving auto loaders, you know you know it takes a long time to reload. Unless you're in a Czechoslovakian a T50 or something. It also takes about three seconds to fire each of your shot. And fortunately it also takes about three seconds to aim. So it works out well. Three seconds to aim, three seconds to shoot each uh, shell. Now, although there isn't much armor to speak of, the hull armor is like 100 millimeters in the front, 20 to the sides, and 30 at the back, while the turret armor is 180 in the front, 35 on the side, and 20 at the back. However, if you notice, the the uh, armor design is kind of like a very slopey, which means it take you need to take into account the uh, the slopey part of the hull and turret that's what's going to uh, serve as armor so if this is going to be a bouncy tank and you're going to need to use the armor to bounce shells and work in your favor this game is practically lost i am going down to try and uh, clip this guy before i go down as you can see, the team kind of melted very quickly indeed. So I'm just gonna shoot as many people as possible, finish off my clip before I finish. That shell went where I have no idea. And uh, that one kind of hit the tracks, I think. And now I die dishonorably. Let's move on to the next tank. It was a bad game for the team. I managed to do only 1,500 damage in a four minute game. So not good result for me, but uh, that's the best I can do in my first game. Let's move on. Here we go, the tier nine takes about 280,000 XP to get it. And let's jump into our first game. My first impression, it feels really sluggish and slow. As you can see on the minimap, the Patton and Emil enemy Centurion have already been spotted and they are already engaging our light tanks. However, where we lack in, in speed and mobility, we make up with gun depression. Again, this Emil 2 also has 12 degree gun depression, which is why I'm making use of this ridge here. However, the accuracy sucks a little bit. The dispersion of 0.36 does not help very much. You really need to fully aim before you can uh, start firing your gun. The tier 9 and tier 10 uh, Swedish heavy tank will carry the same gun. They do about 400 average damage and about 200, uh, 205, 210 average penetration with standard AP shells. As you can see, once I've unloaded my clip, I'm going to roll back and reload. And the reload takes 40 seconds, slightly longer than the Emil one. This gun is also an autoloader, carries four uh, shells. And uh, 
it'll fire every three seconds and the aim time is around 2.68 seconds so you are definitely fully aimed before you can uh, fire your next shot now as you can see i bounced off the other emil uh, one the enemy emil one because of its sloped armor uh, that's what i wanted to show you there which is why right now i am switching to the uh, is it apcr or heat that i have here hang on yep so the standard shell is not ap but apcr and the premium ammo is heat which is what i am loading now and i'm going to use it to shoot the enemy emil one now that i'm fully loaded you're going to see me shoot his turret and bounce so i'm going to go for his lower plate which is the safe option for almost any tank and i pen the rest of my shells however i do not kill him so i need to fall back and reload again i'll be honest this tank doesn't feel that great um i think the 350 ping has a lot to do with it i need to try it out again with my normal 20 ping to make a final call on whether i want to keep this uh, tank or not once again i am almost fully loaded and i will finish off this email you can see the lag down there that's what 350 ping does it means you shoot 0.3 seconds later after you clicked uh, right now i'm going to just uh, speed this up there is a plane going by my house sorry about that um we have tried to cap the base and the cappers got killed so i decided to go around this way and see if i can catch that 54 and i do catch him in the open there's my 350 ping <laughs> that's what happens when you play with 350 ping i should have killed him there it would have definitely changed my play considerably although he does get um, killed by our friendly artillery but i wouldn't have been in this uh, ditch had i not missed that shot into him anyway i am uh, reloading and uh, i want to surprise these guys but they're already here i have no choice but to pull back but uh, in hindsight i should have uh, rushed forward to face him because i have the armor to protect myself i just need to hold my shots for a few more seconds later instead of uh, going down into this ditch going into this ditch was really detrimental to my plan because climbing up is is really super slow and struggling on this uh terrain it made my life really difficult and there i got shot twice and the third time finishes me off so it wasn't a good game for me that was the end of the game for me so i'm just going to fast forward it and bring you to the uh, post-match results i did um, 3.7k damage and finished top of the team but it was not enough to carry this game let's move on to the next tank the tier 10 well 238,000 xp later and you can get yourself the tier 10 carvar Cravan, whatever right off the bat i'm going to forward this straight to here and this is definitely the better version of that emil 2 it feels a lot faster because it has a specific 900 horsepower engine it is like one third faster than the emil 2 it does not feel sluggish it actually feels very mobile and I would have hit this shot if it, if I wasn't playing 350 ping, that's for sure. In fact, this entire clip I would have hit because this is a very dominant position for me. I love this position. I would have hit this shot if it wasn't for the lag. Uh, this one I hit because he, oh, I missed that one as well. I would have hit that if it was normal ping. So I only made uh, connected two out of four there. I would have connected four out of four in normal circumstances again the tier 10 gun is the same as the tier 9 gun uh, it 
it is the same um, amount of um, shell damage you do 400 average damage I think in about 210 um, APCR penetration however the rate of fire is improved to 6.84 rounds per minute it still has that 12 degrees of uh, gun depression and um, it fires a lot faster as well it reloads in like 26.82 seconds uh, 2.75 seconds between shells and it has a 4, four clip magazine the dispersion is also slightly better at uh, 0 0.34 and it aims a lot quicker at 2.34 uh, seconds. Armor is slightly better at the slightly better at the hull, slightly better at the uh, turret. And the tier 10 is definitely one um, you are going to keep. You might not keep the tier 9, but the tier 10 is definitely a very competitive even even in this game I didn't have a very good game but I know I can feel the gun performance and the mobility of the thing I would have hit that shot again that shot I would have hit if it was normal ping I can feel that this tank is going to be really competitive uh, at tier 10 I am dead there that was a quick game for me game is over so I'm going to fast forward this and bring you to the uh, results. I did about 2,000 damage and did about 1,000 spotting. Uh, it's kind of a bad game for me, bad game for the team. But I did enjoy playing this uh, tier 10 very much. And in conclusion, I think um, in the one game that I played so far in the tier 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, I am impressed by the tier 7 the tier 8 and the tier 10 so I am looking forward to collect these three tanks the rest I am just going to use as a launching pad to get to where I am so thanks for watching this video um, give it a like and um, give me a follow if you enjoyed it uh, and I'll see you on the battlefield I will do a more comprehensive review uh, when I get to play more games on all the tanks I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Das Vidania.